data file in Hugo is sort of like a read only database. The way it works is you put JSON, CSV, YAML, XML, or TOML data into a directory called data. Then access that data in a layout using .site.data. You can also download JSON or CSV files from an external source on build if you want to get fancy. First, we'll create a data file with all of your favorite vacation spots. So we'll create a new file in data called vacationspots.yaml. And I'll paste in some content here. So this is an array with five items. Each array has a name, a latitude, and a longitude. To list your favorite vacation spots, you're going to need map software. You'll use the fantastic OpenStreetMap and Leaflet for this. A JavaScript list of markers. We currently have this in a data file. We just need to output it in our JavaScript. JavaScript to set up the map and markers. And a div to hold the map. We could put all of this in a content file, but it's going to be far more complicated than the simple markdown we have there currently. And what if we wanted to use this map again on another page? That's a lot of HTML to copy around. Fortunately, Hugo has an answer, and it's called shortcodes. A shortcode is similar to a partial, except you use them in content files. Hugo even has a bunch built in. You'll create a shortcode, which can be used in any content file to create a map with marked locations. Let's see how it works. So inside layouts, we're going to create shortcodes. And inside, we'll create vacation spots. HTML. And we have some simple HTML here. Let me step through it line by line. First, we have a map element, which is going to hold our map. Then we're loading the style sheet for leaflet, which is going to help us create nice pins and pop-ups on the map. Next is the leaflet JavaScript file, which is going to help us do the same. Following that, we're outputting our list of markers from the data file that we specified before. And finally, we're referencing map.js, which we'll create shortly. This is responsible for initializing the map and adding the markers. So let's create this file. We can just create it in static. So we'll call it map.js. We'll paste some JavaScript here. We're not here to learn JavaScript, so I'll leave this one for you to decipher or not. And the final step is to actually use the, the final step is to actually use the short code. So we'll open up our about.md. I'll add a heading. And now the shortcode. So curly braces, angle brackets, and then the name of our shortcode. And that's it. Now when we view the map in the browser, we have a list of favorite vacation spots. And updating that data file will update the pin on the map, so it's easy to maintain. This is only the beginning of your Hugo journey. You now have the skills to build a basic Hugo site. I recommend a few resources for your next steps on your Hugo journey. The Hugo documentation is a great resource for learning everything that Hugo has to offer. The Hugo community forums are really welcoming to newcomers. It's a great place to get support and connect with the community. We have a follow-on tutorial called Bootstrap to Client Editable Hugo site. It's a more advanced tutorial that shows you how to convert a purely static website to a Hugo site that a client can update and maintain. Finally, I want to quickly mention Cloudkinen. It's a content management system that has first-class support for Hugo and syncs directly with your Git repository. So your developer team can continue using Hugo while your content team updates the content. It's the best of both worlds. Thanks for listening and happy Hugoing.